<laughs> what the fuck? I'm gonna leave it. Oh, I wanna make sure there's no paraphernalia in the frame. What time is it? It's 6.20 a.m. My boyfriend, oh wait, no, no, no. I should tell you guys what I've been doing. Oh my God, my hair is like really, I said I was gonna leave it, but um, I've been house sitting for my grandparents. I did this last summer and I think I vlogged the whole week when I was doing it. I honestly can't remember. I remember that I filmed a video though when I was house sitting here last year. Did I say last week? Earlier? No, I meant last year. I housed out for them like a year ago and now I'm doing it again because they're in Mexico. And tomorrow's my last day house sitting actually. I started house sitting last Friday and now it's Thursday and I haven't been alone like the past week. I've had somebody over, either my sister, my cousin, my boyfriend for almost the past week. So today is the first day of house sitting where I'm just by myself, chilling. So, yeah, I wanted to vlog today and I'm also gonna film a unboxing video, however. I'm trying out, well, I don't know. I wanna try something out. I don't know how it's gonna go. I don't know where I'm gonna go with it, but I just wanna try not showing anything in this vlog that could possibly get me age restricted. This won't become like a regular thing, but I'm just so fucking tired of all of my videos getting age restricted. Ugh, I, I like, I shouldn't really give a fuck because I mean like whatever, but I mean when I'm putting that much time into videos, it's like kind of frustrating, you know? But the reason I'm up so early, like I was saying when I first started talking, my boyfriend spent the night last night and now he went to work. He left like 20 minutes ago at 6 a.m. And I've just been kind of cleaning, put some new water in my vase. I'm trying to decide if I want to go back to bed or not. I mean, usually I would, but I'm not even that tired. But if I stayed up, what the fuck would I even do with my time? Edit a video? Yeah, but that might make me fall asleep. Or I could put Gilmore Girls on and go back to bed. I don't know. We're gonna and see how I feel after I do that, you know? I kind of wish I had been vlogging this whole week because I feel like I kind of have been doing a lot of shit, but I mean, have I really? Not really, I've just been like hanging out with people and I don't feel like vlogging with people, you know? Oh my gosh, I went to Trader Joe's last week. Wait, no, what day is it? Thursday, Friday? No, Saturday. We went to Trader Joe's last Saturday, my boyfriend and I, and we got cookie butter, which I've never had before. It's so good. It honestly kind of tastes like graham cracker spread anybody else agree but i also got those like trader joe's let me just show you i got the chicken soup dumplings and i haven't tried them yet i'm gonna try them with y'all today i think i need to try them though when i'm not that hungry because i'm really worried that i'm not gonna like them i'd be pissed if i was starving and i made this meal and it just tasted like shit so <laughs> i'm gonna make those sometime today though i've also been wanting to try an apple with cookie butter but i just haven't done that because i feel like it might make my stomach hurt a little bit so Will this get me in trouble? I don't think so. I'm gonna see how far I can push my limits too, you know? Guys, I'm trying different things out. Just bear with me. It looks so pretty outside too. I can't believe how bright it is. I mean, I guess it's 6.30 now, but I originally woke up at like five o'clock and it was already bright as fuck out. I was like, holy shit. I've been really sneezy too. And I think it's because I've been stuck in a house with my Nana's two cats for almost a week now. And I'm allergic to her cats. I made waffles. Oh. System about how I was doing the dishes.
This is the aftermath of filming a fucking unboxing video. <laughs> Holy nut. My boyfriend and I are heading to Trader Joe's and I'm actually gonna vlog this time. We went to Trader Joe's like almost a week ago and got cookie butter and dried mango and those chicken dumplings that I still haven't tried. I need to try those because I am done house sitting tomorrow and I'm supposed to keep those frozen and we're going to Leavenworth tomorrow. So I gotta eat them tomorrow, I guess. I haven't even been craving chicken dumplings. So hopefully they're but we're going to Trader Joe's because we want to get cotton candy grapes. The last time we went to Trader Joe's, we literally went there for cotton candy grapes and then got everything but cotton candy grapes. So now we're going to go get those and I think mochi. Yeah, and whatever else we find. We're going to look around and see. Last time we went, it was way too crowded, so we couldn't even look. We literally came here for cotton candy grapes and they have zero cotton candy grapes, but we got raspberries instead and green grapes. I guess they'll do. Okay, we're literally still in the Trader Joe's parking lot, but my boyfriend got this chili. Is it chili or chili? Cause there's an E at the end. I feel dumb as fuck. Technically it's chili. <laughs> okay, chili spiced mango. He really wants to try it. So we're just gonna try it now. I'm gonna try it with him, even though I'm not the biggest fan of spicy things. I'm also filming on his phone because I feel like your phone looks better than mine. I feel like this camera quality is really good. My phone died in Trader Joe's, so. What does it smell like? Let me smell. I've never had like chamoy or whatever it's called. Oh my lord. And I'm assuming that's what is on here. No, it just says chili seasoning. Okay. I don't know. Isn't chamoy chili seasoning? I'm sorry guys. I don't know shit. Are you going to rip it in half? You could get me another piece if you want so you don't have to. Okay, never mind. Oh my god. Are you fucking kidding me? You ready? Alright. I don't like it. Throw it out the window. <laughs> I'm gonna throw it out the window. I'm gonna put it in the back. It's like fire. Can I get any more white? That mango seems a lot thicker. It doesn't seem as dried up. It doesn't say dried, but I think it is. It says it right there, dude. It says dried fruit on the label. That's so disappointing. What are we gonna do with all that dried spicy mango? Give it to the kitties. Give it to the kitties. No. <laughs> Guys, there's a Whole Foods right over here. And I'm gonna fucking rant about Whole Foods for a second. So I haven't been to Whole Foods in like five years. No, that's not true. Probably like three years at this point because I graduated high school three years ago, which was when I did dance. And when I would go to Whole Foods was when I was at dance because my dance studio is right down the street. Okay, that's not important. Anywho, Whole Foods is fucking expensive. Does anybody else agree or I mean, Maybe they aren't anymore, but when I used to go to Whole Foods, like a bowl of pre-cut fruit would be like 10 bucks. Like I could get that shit at Safeway for like five. I could go to Trader Joe's and get that shit for five and it's all organic, you know? I haven't been there in a long time, like I said. I think they got in trouble actually for making their prices too high. I might be wrong, can somebody tell me if that's true or not? I am a Trader Joe's stan, not a Whole Foods stan. You can barely see it through the crack. Do you see that nonsense right there? Oh my god. Guys, I literally touched that. I was eating, well, I was going for another raspberry to eat and I picked that one up and I spun it around and the moldy part was on my thumb. And I'm like scared of mold, it grosses me out. And my boyfriend was like, just throw it out the window. And I'm like, I can't, even though I already touched it. I gotta wait till I get to my Nana's to deal with it. We just got to my grandparents' house and we're gonna try the strawberry mochis. Oh. <laughs> Rip the chili, chili, 
mango. I feel so dumb. <laughs> squishy. Yeah, they're squishy. I feel like I haven't actually had like real good mochi before. I feel like whenever I have them, it's always just the dough. I never get the ice cream part. So we're gonna try them. Mm, I don't think I like it. God damn it. It's not liking anything we got from Trader Joe's. Got moldy raspberries. Weird bubblegum ice cream. This does not even taste like strawberries. It tastes like bubblegum. Spicy ass mango. And zero cotton candy grapes. So... What do you think? I can get down with it. It's good, but I don't like the texture of the dough. Mm. It's like bubble gum on the outside, but it's not chewy. I feel like- It's not wet. It's just really cold. It's like good, but it's just, I'm, I'm really weird with textures. So I'm gonna give it like a seven out of 10. I also think I'd like a different flavor because it literally tastes like bubble gum. This doesn't taste like strawberry to me. It kind of tastes like strawberry to me, but- Like yeah, a little bit, like the ice gum. cream tastes like strawberry, but the dough tastes like bubble gum. So like, I'd give it like an 8.5. 8.5. Wonder how they make them. Where are these made? Because I know these are like a um, Japanese treat. Uh -huh. Are they Japanese? So. I believe so. I'm surprised it doesn't say anywhere. And they're just made by Trader Joe's. Do you think they make them inside Trader Joe's? I want to go to the place where Trader Joe's makes all their shit, you know? I want to see them make the cookie butter. And then you can probably get everything huge. It's probably like Costco Trader Joe's. The dough is sticking in my teeth. Oh, uh, all the dough fell out from under. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh-uh. It is quite interesting. Maybe I just need to try a different flavor, but I don't know. I really don't like the way the dough tastes, so it's good, but. But yeah, the dough is a little, an eight, I'll give it an eight. Oh my gosh, I totally just remembered. I was gonna tell you guys in this vlog, I got a P.O. box, I haven't even, said on my Instagram story or anything. I literally got a P.O. box like a week ago tomorrow. I haven't mentioned it at all. I can't even remember what it is though, so I'll put it right here. <laughs> what the P.O. box is, because I literally don't even know what it is. Do what, wait no, what's the saying? Do with that information what you will. Is that how it goes? I don't know if you want to uh, say that, but yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> don't send me bad things. No illegal <laughs> things. Yes, sending in the mail is illegal. Oh wait, I'm trying not to get age restricted. Sending oregano in the mail is not okay. Don't do that. Don't send me bad things, okay? But maybe a letter? Maybe we can be pen pals? I don't know. And I'm also gonna start selling crochet pieces like I mentioned. I'm thinking like sometime in the beginning of August, I'm gonna set like an actual like drop day and I'll like let you guys know ahead of time. Mm-hmm, yeah. I don't think I got anything else right now. Where do I want to put you guys? All right, it is Friday. My boyfriend is on his way to pick me up. I'm pretty much done house sitting and I am starving. I haven't eaten yet today. And I think I'm gonna try those chicken dumplings even though I don't think I'm gonna like them. It, it doesn't even sound good right now, but that's literally the only thing I can think to make. And if I don't like them, I'll make waffles or something. I'm just doing the microwave instructions because I don't have like a dumpling steamer. Okay. They're just little guys. Okay. Cut one corner of bag to allow steam to escape. Place tray directly in a microwave and heat on high for 1.45 to 2 minutes. Let sit one minute before removing from microwave. Bag and dumplings may be hot. Open bag along seams with caution. Mm. Okay. Well, maybe they'll surprise me. All right, corner cut to allow steam to escape. <laughs> I'm really skeptical about them being like microwaved in the bag too. I wish I had a dumpling steamer. Dang it. They probably taste way better that way too. They're probably not gonna taste as good in the microwave. Oh, I need a spoon. I don't have chopsticks, so I can't do it the way it says to you on the bag. Oh, they smell really good. 
Oh my gosh, and there's like space for sauce. What kind of sauce do you eat with dumplings? Like soy sauce? Hey, kitty cat, no, <laughs> you can't eat dumplings. I think I should just go for it with no sauce. It says to bite into it and drink the broth first. I've literally never had dumplings before and I'm a super picky eater, so I'm kind of scared. Look at my Nana's cat. Her little milk mustache, are you kidding me right now? I think she likes them, they think they smell good to her. I'm scared. Oh my god. I need to I need to stop. Okay. The broth just tastes like chicken. It is it just tastes like chicken broth. I'm just being ridiculous. I kind of want to shove the whole dumpling in my mouth, but I think it's going to be too hot. I'm scared to eat the chicken though, so I'm weird about my chicken. Do you eat the whole thing or do you, can you bite into it? I don't know. Oh! I think I could like them, just not microwaved Trader Joe's ones, you know? And it does need sauce. I just don't know what kind. I don't want to do the wrong kind. The chicken's good. I'm just weird about it. I don't... Ah, uh, dang it. I'm gonna make waffles. Excuse me. I actually settled for applesauce for now because it's delicious. Is it a meal? No, but like I just said, it's delicious. I think I'm gonna end this video off here. Thank you guys so much for watching. No, this was maybe a little different kind of than the usual content, but trying to test some things out. No, no. <laughs> Hope y'all have a good one. Stay safe, make good choices. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, beds. Smoke weed every day.